Good morning, Natasha. Good afternoon, rather, and welcome to Mdanzane, the home of boxing. It is indeed a significant donation. Last year, Natasha Petros Motsipe announced that he'll be donating one million rent for the development of boxing in Danzane. It was an announcement that shocked everyone. No one expected it. He had come to hand over money for a prosthetic legs uh, for the mother of the former world champion Zolani Tete. He was saying that after seeing so many boxers, so many champions coming from Danzane, he had to donate one million rand for the development of boxing. And as you mentioned, for the past 10 years, boxing has been struggling here in Danzane with just over 20 boxing clubs not being active and now the Petrus, the Petrus Mutsipa Foundation is intervening to make sure that all 57 clubs in Danzane are active. But to tell us more, Natasha, we're joined by the general manager of the Mutsipa Foundation, Nozi Potolu. Equipment for 57 clubs in Danzane. Tell us more about that. Um, the Mutsipa Foundation is really grateful to be associated with this development because we truly believe that if there is development in our, our, our places, in our communities, especially a place like Mtansane, where there is such a huge interest in boxing, it really needs just a push and that's what we are doing, just to give that contribution so that the clubs and the young people of Mtansane really benefit out of that and get developed and they do what they like, which is, which is uh, boxing in this instance. I mean, the role that sport plays in anybody's lives, you know, can't be underestimated. So we are really hopeful that uh, with this donation is really going to change the lives of some of the young people who aspire to really take boxing on and have you know adequate infrastructure to actually do do to do the sport we've seen infrastructure being erected in some of the areas we've seen donations like these ones you continue to to sponsor these young ones to develop the young people who want to do boxing but now what is the challenge is that when these boxers are at a level of being champions they often lack funds to defend their titles will we be seeing the foundation assisting even in that uh, effect what what we want to to do as a start as a starting point because we need to start somewhere and build um, up until we get to, to to that level is really to you know Simtanzane the difference between this area and in ordinary areas where you have infrastructure and so forth is that there is an interest here so you start at the level where there is interest and you build it up as a foundation we are saying even to other corporate and other and other organisations that. Our investment is really in getting our young people to be actively involved. That becomes our first step. As we move forward, then we are able to support, because you'll be seeing the MEC of Sports and Recreation as well coming through here. There's a lot of work that government does to support the sport. There are other organizations and other corporates that are actually in the sport. But if all of us are working together and say we build as a foundation, you know, as a foundation we build and then other people come up and they you know put the wall others come with the roof and so forth but what is more important is that we give back to the community and we give the community that hope that says if you are interested in something there is always somebody who can actually give you a push there is always somebody who can give you a go a, 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 a one step further and there's somebody who can just actually take you and you know to, to fly up high so we know that the whole pathway is going to be supported by so many other people who will see this as a good gesture and they'll get interested and we'll see Mtanzania really bringing back that, that sporting element in the township, you know, where we know on Saturday we go to probably this area or we go to the sporting area that, that is across, but there is something that young people can actually look forward to and dream about being champions themselves. And in this case, that person who's going to give a push is the Mutsipe Foundation. Thank you so much for your time. That was the general manager for the Mutsipe Foundation telling us that what is key to them is to make sure that they develop and they groom young people. And what we find interesting here, Natasha, is that not only are they focusing on the boxers, the male boxers, but they're also catering for female boxers to make sure that they are also groomed to be world championships, uh, to be world champions rather. So it is an indication that Mdanzani uh, is the maker of boxing and it will continue being the maker of boxing from us. It's back to you in studio. Busi Siwe, thank you very much. Busi Siwe, Jim Sana, live from Mdanzani in the Eastern Cape.